Welcome back my friends, welcome back to ever so sexy demon is awesome campaign which is actually Icewing Dale but nonetheless there is demon somewhere there I kept you waiting didn't I? Not really, I mean hell spells considering that I only upload one video a week there you go, <laughs> of Icewind Dale. But that's fine, it, it lasts longer for everyone, right? No, not really. Anywho, it's time to go back to the Veil of Shadows. Oh god, I think I was supposed to give something to someone. I, I can't remember my quests. So, you know what, I, I know there's some dude who lost his brother, and I was like, yeah, well, who cares? and probably he's now pissed that I did not help out and give maybe didn't give back some certain armor that I accidentally sold I don't think so but fudge it if I know nonetheless let's go back to the last dungeon of uh, this area the, actually the entirety of the Veil of Shadows is quite short except that one last dungeon because of course in that one last freaking dungeon you have so many evil men manly men but men nonetheless they're okay they're a little bit skeletally like yeah, they don't have much meat on their bones but you can't judge them that way that would be racist maybe well, it wouldn't be racist not, it wouldn't be racist well it would be racist I guess I mean hell you know Anywho, let's prepare for fights. Let's zoom in a little bit because I honestly I can't see shit. I can't see crap. So let's <laughs> let's see who's gonna be fighting whom. Is the question. Uh, first, I want to see Milton because Milton is like a boss, right? He has a lots of stuff to give. A lots of stuff to give. I do forget that we have the quick bars and stuff like that. So that's nice. Uh, like we have these things and we can position one of our things here. There you go. We already have that. No. Well, that's a shield. I already had that one on one of the quick slots. So there you go. Oh, excellent. I have no idea what the hell you are, but you're going to probably tell me. Horror. Oh, yes. This is when we you know, actually demoralize the enemy. But the thing is, we can't do that because the enemy is compromised of the dead people. We're not fighting humans, so that that's always a bad mojo. Now, we have also a bunch of spells that I did not really look into the last time, and I know, I know, I'm too cool for school, I know. Protection from evil is always a good spell. Uh, let's see, luck. It's not a bad thing to have a luck, so I'm going to actually write this one, because honestly, luck is good. Luck is good anyway. Like, hell, is a buff, why the fudge not? But I should have actually looked at who gives. Does it give the ex only to the person that actually casts? or certain creatures that I want to have a little bit of luck. Uh, this spell turns a creature invisible and makes it undetectable by normal vision or infravision. Items dropped or put down by the invisible creature become visible. Items picked up disappear if tucked into the clothing or pouches worn by the creature. Uh, the spell remains in effect until it is magically broken or dispelled. Until the recipient talks to or attacks any creature. Honestly, no point in keeping this one, so I'm not gonna give a crap about that one. Okay, some offensive spells. Chill Touch and Color Spray. Uh, alteration? Yes, it's Alteration. Okay, excellent. Okay, so blind creatures are unaffected by the color spray. I mostly I, I forgot exactly how many rooms do I have for my spells. Okay, so level one spells we have the identify, of course, and the shield, and of course we have the horror, the horror. That's fine. We have to look at our our druid also, priest, druid, man, manly man, of course, a last year. He has that freaking sword. Oh, yeah, the flame blade. The thing about the last year, he is kind of a person that needs a flame blade. So what I'm gonna do about last year is okay, I have two on these. Wow, really? I tend to fuck up. Honestly, I have like on quick slots, I have these things. Thank you. I need a flame blade there. Thank you very much. We need to rechange certain things here. Well actually he doesn't need okay. Yeah, my bad. Because reality wise we only have two casting things. For Melton, compared to last year, who has three of these. You have the heal wounds, which does make it more automatically. But I'm gonna finally cast our first ever flame blade, and now he is a beast. He's a beast, guys. He's a beast. 
Here they come, guys. Hold. Hold. Yeah, well, maybe just attack and have fun. Okay, so let's see. Nameless Hero is going to run away because he, he's getting targeted by a bunch of evil tanks. Uh, fall back. Yeah, Gorn, attack this creature of darkness. Yeah, there you go. I'm feeling laggy a little bit for some fucking reason, but that's fine. I think Nameless Hero can handle uh, a few things here, or maybe not. Uh, someone cast something on us. I don't know what exactly was cast there. Let's see. Someone cast something. I have no idea what that thing is. You know, honestly. What the hell is that thing? I can't see it. I can't see it! I forgot where you actually look at these things. <laughs> I'm honestly forgetting where you see your, uh, uh, most of your freaking information about the bomb. Bless! We are blessed! Of course we're blessed. We have the paladin for fudge's sake. She has that as a personal thing. And uh, that, that comes, of course, from the air and soon. Ever so amazing air and soon. Are you noticing a lag? Honestly, I'm noticing some kind of a lag that should not be there. For some freaking reason, we do have it. Okay, warriors. Yeah, bless. That's always a good thing. Okay, first and foremost, I really don't want Melton to have any kind of a thing with his ashes. Honestly, the shadows themselves are not that hard to kill. Though again, this is like a normal just except that we have uh, more enemies on screen. And considering the Icewind Dale is a bomb trade pillage and burn more people than friends, then you have more enemies, of course. And this thing has no way of actually winning this battle, but for some reason, they are do it. That thing is actually doing a damage upon a nameless hero, a heavy damage. A weapon ineffective for some reason. All of a sudden, sometimes it is effective, sometimes it isn't. Okay, so this is not going so well. That's kind of a thing. What the hell are you? A shadow. Well, honestly, we killed so many. How the fuck does that thing survive? Oh, come on, another one? Really? That's funny. That's You're, you're being funny. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna fight like this. Oh, they are going for the nameless man here. Can someone actually kill these bastards? Excellent, finally! Jesus, Gorn, you are the man of the hour. <laughs> Just <laughs> right in circle, as that actually works. Hey, wow, that one is aggroing the hell out of the nameless hero. And finally on Gorn. Holy crap. I'm listening. We must have some kind of an offensive spell for this kind of a bullshit, because honestly, I'm not like this thing is for some reason scary as hell. We can't do anything against it. And I mean at all. Ineffective. How is this ineffective? We killed so many of these. But that's fine. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. We are gonna wait. Now, if we had that flame blade again, I could actually utilize that and we might have won. Let's see this thing. What the hell is this? Curse. And I am gonna curse you. Did I cast? No, I didn't. Okay, curse bitches. Did that even work? No. For some reason, this thing... Yeah, it's cursed, but Jesus, this thing is evil. I know what curse actually does in this case, but still. Unbelievable. Nobody can do anything at this one shadow. What kind of a bullcrap is this? 
And seven crushing there from Aronson finally. I mean, I know shadows were a little bit like tough, like a cookie, but come on. To see Aaron soon with the hammer of God. Yeah, wow, wow, it's wow, like whoa, shadow, wow. Okay, that those probably were lesser shadows, and that's why they died e like like nothing. But O M G, people, yeah, uh, probably lesser, yeah, lesser shadow. This was just a shadow, but Jesus, it does massive damage. Rage pillaging burns the children. Oh, I mean, think about the children. But it was protecting one of the main uh, parts, and we have another one. Oh, that's a lesser shadow. Okay, that's why I don't have to fear that much. Run away. Diego, you had to be like there, like a little bitch in front of the enemy. He had to be first one, you know, he had to be... A freaking first persona. Yeah, I have this freaking lag for some reason. I have no idea why. But there's this massive fucking lag I'm having. Uh, but nonetheless, nonetheless, moving on. I think most of us have been healed. Not really. It was going is having certain issues here. Let's see what kind of an issue. Diseased. Well, I have nothing to undisease you. I, I think I don't have anything. Let's see. We do have potions. I mean, we have a bunch of potions. Uh, mommy's tea. Diseases. There, if I didn't keep the mommy's tea, it would be like, you know, you know, you, you know, like, mommy, what the fuck is this? Thank you very much. Gordon, you're alive. You're alive! I'm gonna save you because, honestly, that was kind of an awkward moment for us. We were just going in there like a beast and all of a sudden, the enemy, like, just slaughtered us, almost. Almost. Uh, this is a statue depicting a barbarian warrior leaning on two-handed sword. The statue is worn with age. Of course. Uh, Very well. Of course it is. And there's a paw. A bear's paw. I wonder what that represents. A bear, maybe? Hmm. You do not know this. Is that it? Is that all we have here at the moment? We have a door there, I know that, but it's a kind of a, like an awkward moment here because these halls of justice are not really uh, to my liking. They're too tight. They're too freaking tight. Oh, you can barely make out an inscription long since worn with age. You think it is a warning against entering the tomb and disturbing its guardians. Well... Okay, it definitely it would seem that thing is trapped, or we just need a fucking key. And as we have a skull key, it should work. It should work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Speak your mind. Now, the thing about this is that if we sleep here, we're gonna get ganged up by dragon. So nobody can rest, and most of my spells have been extinguished for my mage and my other mage. Hold your ground! There is a tattered skeletor. Okay, so finally the battle begins again. Uh, of course, Gorn and Nameless here there comes there, and soon, as always, she knows. And the, thing, well, the good thing is that even Milton and Lester can reach the enemy beyond the scope of this place here. Because they have a long ranged weapons. And honestly these guys are like totally nothing for us. And like compared to how strong we truly are, these Skeletors are nothing. But that can change. That may change. Get over here, Aaron. Control this ground here. Okay, excellent job. Like, we, we see that? We just go through them. Now, we're gonna use Eren soon to attack specifically. Oh, wait. Run away. Run away, Eren. You might get fucked. Not in a good way, fucked. You two hold uh, these bastards. These are the monsters. Oh, boy. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. 
We have some Skeletors. What is it? Heal. Die, Skeletors with arrows. When well, actually that is the Skeletor uh, with a bow. And an arrow. And there they go. Well, music. No epic music to this epic fight. What is this? How can this be? Milton, you, you're like a boss. Like a boss. He was like, uh -uh, I'm going to stab you with my staff. Awesome. This inlaid stone table contains an inscription. Kresla, the black wolf. Ah, they're all black yes. wolf. This pool is filled with a glowing green liquid. Several human skeletons have been seen floating within its depth. This pedestal supports a large book that has been secured to it by a chain. Careful inspection of the book reveals its pages to be crafted of human skin. Each page is covered in a neat script written in blood. Great for them, I guess. Great for them. Let's see. Oh boy, we have some special stuff. Purple. Now, we have purple things. Finally, some kind of weapons of choice that we really always wanted. But we can just do this and collect whatever we really want. Just collect a little bit of these, like that. Yes, capture all that, Gorn, you beast. You freaking beast. Yeah, look at that. That's mine, that's mine. Everything is mine yeah. here. Let's see, can we... Oh boy, I mean, we are A-OK -okay in terms of heaviness. But still, what kind of a thing? High quality maces. Is anybody utilizing maces in this one? I can't really remember. I can't remember who utilizes maces, who isn't utilizing maces. Yeah, I wanted the last year to utilize maces because last year why well, you utilize usually a mace in Gothic games. So he's a boss like that. But as you can see, we got nothing out of that. Really nothing. Kind of, kind of sad. Kind of sad. Not even sell most of them. Like didn't sell this goddamn stud lar uh, leather armor, which we should sell. Too bad we don't have like a thingy that you you know like teleport to the town of Koldahar. Yes. Or village or whatever the town or village it is. Because we did actually quite well. I'm gonna save. It's not really that difficult considering. To be honest, I was expecting much worse. I was expecting much worse. Who is going to be first? Locked. Um, maybe our special skill in unlocking the locks can work here. I will do as you ask. Okay. Uh, and it does not have a conventional lock, so that means uh, no. <laughs> that means no. Okay, I do remember these specific areas. They tend to have uh, traps. Of different kinds. Uh, different kinds. And of course, fuck yeah! Heal! Heal! Thank you, Lester. Thank you very freaking much. Here they. Here comes Johnny! Or his sister. Get over here, Aaron. Clear this bastard. Okay, I mean, they definitely do not pose a threat of any kind. I mean, if, they, if these guys are not scary, they're just not scary enough. The thing is about, specifically about Diego, is that he needs to find traps for me. Because honestly, this is bullshit. Aaron, someone, maybe, maybe, run away, run away. A ghoul, of course it was a ghoul. I do remember there being a secret door or two around these locations. Maybe not specifically in this one. And there it is. Did I tell you? Did I tell you that there might be a trap of some sort? And there you go. Trap this charm. Now I can take whatever I want from that. And of course, that's five gold pieces. And some kind of an unknown gem of coolness. A turquoise gem. Well, isn't that nice for that gem? to be so special. Oh my god, a special... Is that even a special thing? Like, it's a purple. What does a purple mean? I don't remember seeing purple too many times in this damnable thing. 
Oh, you're full on everything, aren't you? Of course you are. Uh, not identified. So that's not identified. Sword. Oh, of course, he's too far away. Yes, immediately. Get over here, Melton. Get over here. Onward. Well, we have a new weapon. Uh, definitely. Plus one, probably. Long sword. We have some mummy teeth, would seem. But as we can only identify one weapon at a time, or always, maybe you can we identify everything every time? I do not know. Yes, we can't. <laughs> yes, we can't. We can't do that. But that's okay. Diego, give me the goddamn weapon, the sexy weapon, not the Lester. Lester doesn't know things. Though he should. Identify. Spell. As I said, long sword plus one. Not that that's a bad thing, Maj. Not that that's a bad thing, considering that I am utilizing a long sword. That is the nameless hero is utilizing the long sword. Now we have a long sword plus five. Who's your daddy and what does he do? And he doesn't know. He does not know. But that's fine. That's fine. That's really this is this went a okay. We found a new weapon of choice. We found some shitty gems that nobody cares for. We found. A few healing potions specifically designed for ever so beautiful Erin soon because she got freaking owned. Or was that the nameless hero? Nameless hero got freaking owned. To be honest, we're nice in terms of the most basic stuff that is our hell potions, healing potions. Everybody has something. And that's always a good thing, of course. Always a good thing. Now, this is a gem bag. Yeah, this is a gem bag. So we can put all the gems that we never had onto the Diego stuff. Of course, Diego likes gems. He is. He was a merchant once, I believe, Diego. He was a merchant. He got fudged by his friend and sent to prison. That is to Corinus, or she said the mines of Corinus. Uh, scroll case. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Give me that crap. I, you know what? I'm just gonna. Yeah, as you can see, we do have. Yeah, okay, we can just do it like this. Unbelievable, I did not know this. Now I know. Oh my god, I'm an amazing chant. Okay, so definitely these two backpack, these red ones, I do not need. Two container, two container, thank you very much. I don't think this negates the amount of weight. If you put it, it's just another container within the container that is your inventory. So there you go. Okay. Is that it? Yes, it is. Excellent. Move on, guys. You did an amazing job. We have a new weapon of choice for Nameless Hero. Nameless Hero is like a boss. Erin soon with her beauty and her hammer of justice. No, she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. I'm going to save, of course, because you never know what is going to happen. You never know what's going to happen. That might be a trap. That might be a trap. If you really won't want to find a trap... There's always a trap. There's always a goddamn trap somewhere. There you go. <laughs> like right in front of you. Railway. Excellent stuff. Okay, run away. Run away. You lured already too many of these beasts. Go, 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 go. Excellent. Well, leave, let's leave these guys to their own machinations, machinations. You know, the stuff. The Matrix. We're, we're leaving them to the Matrix of stuff. Oh, we have a new weapons. Just a bunch of shitty two-handers and nobody cares about them. I'm hoping no more traps because we've done our duty with the traps here. I believe that was like one trap for every each entrance. Hello, ghoul. Hell, meet my hammer of justice. And a level up for someone. Nameless hero level up should be next to be it for Eren soon. That Skeletor knows his stuff. He's, he's a very daring monster. Quick, I am off. Get over here. Excellent. Because we now need to find another trap. Within the trap, which is in the box. And, of course, gold pieces. A necklace some, of some sort. And a crappy scroll that nobody's going to utilize. And uh, let's see onto ever so beautiful Eren soon. Uh, did you level up? You did level up. 
or was our name of zero. I always think about girls first. It, don't get me. The point here is that we want to see what we can do. We actually can't do shit. We get tackle, which is reduced by one, and additional hit point gain by twelve. A lore increased by one. Yay! Honestly, uh, I mean, okay, it's nameless hero. He's the boss of the group, and I'm fine with that. Everybody is doing an amazing job, and that's always, always, ever so beautiful. Ever uh, after Aaron Soon, which is Aaron Soon. Thank you very much, Aaron Soon. Uh, resist fear and all the good stuff. She is very close to the nine towers. Like OMG, very close. We just need to kill one thing. Just one dude. One dude needs to die, and that's gonna be it for this. Ooh, the circle is empty. Nobody cares if yes. there's nothing to take. Nobody cares. But I will always reach check to maybe find certain invisible doors. This looks like a door, but this is not invisible. It is visible, but we can't do anything about it. Okay, excellent. We done this. That was an amazing fight. We won. Uh, we can open this one, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Let's save again. We did well. We did quite, quite well. No. Let's go on this one. All right. Thank you very much. Let's see what's behind this. Oh, another ghoul. Let's begin. No music for some reason. You know, I tried to lower the goddamn value for the music because OMG it was so strong. But now you can barely even hear the music, which is the atmospheric music. And of course, I am Diego. I am up. But we don't have a combat music for some reason. It's a Skeletor! OMG! Oh, great. Oh great, that monstrosity was there and Diego got fudged. We have to go back to Kuldahar by the way guys, so I'm gonna go back to Kuldahar and continue onwards when after I sell all the stuff, because I honestly think that you don't care about me selling stuff. You don't want to see demons selling stuff, you want to see demon rape, pillage and burn the children. It's always about the children of course. Of course it is always about the children. Oh, Gord, you beast! One shot the big monstrosity that is white. Wait, white, white. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What? You closing your legs against me? That is against Gord. You go fool. We surrounded the ghoul, but ghoul is not giving up for some reason. And finally, Officer Aaron soon gains a level, and Demon will level up. And of course, nothing to gain out of it, except of course, tech reduced, lay on hands increased by 2, and additional hit points gained by 10. Amazing. So she utilizes the bastard swords and war hammers, and of course, she goes with the two weapon style, not two handed weapon style, which means she can rape, pillage, and burn them children with two weapons. Anyway, guys, wish you the very best as always, and next time, well, next time is gonna be next time.